So by month in November, December, while you're finishing up your harvest, pulling your plants out of the ground, that's the time you want to get back into the soil and take samples to send out for analysis so you can determine what supplements you need to buy over the winter to, uh, to return the soil back to the level that the plants want that you're going to buy. So to do that, uh, we, we get our samples taken from 10 different holes in this structure. Uh, each one is about 8 inches deep. We take the samples, one cup samples, we mix them all together, we come up with a uniform sample and then we send that sample out for some very detailed analysis um, at our local extension service which is located at the University of New Hampshire. Uh, there's also private labs that you can you can have this done at as well. So while you're waiting for your soil sample to come back, uh, in the November, December time frame, you also want to start planning for next year. And you, I do that with an Excel spreadsheet. And I put down all the characteristics of a particular plant that is available to me. Uh, the seed depth, the germination temperature, the grow time, uh, how much moisture it needs, what types of uh, uh, fertilizer supplements it needs everything I can gather about that particular plant and if you go to anywhere any one of the seed company websites you'll find a lot of information from them and you'll also find it just uh, surfing the net but I use an, an Excel spreadsheet I plan out each of my gardens and what I'm going to plant uh, spacing etc and then based on that I determine what seeds I need to buy and how many I need to buy. Now, I like buying my seeds in the November, December time frame because most of the seed companies have holiday specials and they're, they're very good specials. So that's a good time to buy seeds. You can take advantage of those. So I have my seeds here on this uh, little makeshift table I made. Um, I bought seeds this year from one, two, three, four, five companies. I got gurneys where I bought the majority of my seeds. And the reason why I bought a lot of seeds from them is because they have all the common varieties that we, everyone grows. And in this particular case, they had a very attractive holiday discount. So I took advantage of that. But uh, Johnny's, for example, I bought a bunch of uh, tomato seeds from them because they have a lot of unique varieties. Uh, Renee's Gardens, I bought a bunch of English cucumber seeds because my wife really likes the English cucumbers. They're very unique. And you can't get these just anywhere. Uh, Harris Seeds, um, I bought from them. I buy a lot of my supplies from Harris Seeds. They're a very good company. Uh, I bought my 84 cell plug tray, uh, my 804 packs, which I'll use to grow the uh, larger plants, and these will be the uh, quantity at which we will sell at our farm stand. I also uh, buy seeds from Burpee because. Uh, they were pretty unique in the sense that they had an early tomato, they had a late tomato. Now this would be a tomato that uh, you can uh, take inside in your basement and put it in a box with some newspaper and when it's green and just kind of keep it aerated and let it breathe and it'll continue to turn red for a couple months for you. And lastly, they have this super sauce hybrid Roma tomato, which is supposed to be a five and a half inch by tall by five inch wide Roma tomato, which weighs about two pounds. And I personally just have to see this. So I got a pack of those. All right, now, in January and February, 
that's when I get the test results back. So I should get my test results back any day now. Once I do that, I'll be able to add supplements to my soil to uh, get it to my desired levels. And the reason why I can do that is because the ground in here does not freeze. So the rotor tiller is right there, ready to go to work as soon as I'm ready. The second thing I do in January, February is start thinking about germination. I have my trays. I start thinking about where I'm going to germinate, how many I'm going to germinate, how much room I'm going to need, things like that. February, March. It's now the third week in February. And starting this weekend, my daughter and I will start uh, planting seeds in our germination room. Now, at, at our factory, we maintain a germination room, which is a bunch of uh, shelves and grow lights. So we'll start that there. The, there's another way that uh, I mentioned earlier that people can, can germinate their seeds, and that's by sectioning off uh, a part of their high tunnel or, and or a greenhouse and use minimal heat to, uh, to germinate. The other thing you can do is you can buy them from uh, an established greenhouse. You can buy the plants. So next time we meet, I'm going to show you our germination room where we do our germination. And I'm going to show you something new, which we call a germination box, where we use some of the materials that we use in the greenhouse business to build a small box to uh, start our plants in. So that'll be pretty interesting. Thank you.